So with the launch of the RDX 50 series, we also got introduced to DLSS 4, which contrary to popular belief, actually works on all RTX GPUs with the exception of a multi-frame generation, right? So with that, you could also then override your DLSS presets here. So basically, if we have a look at Cyberpunk 2077, you can go ahead, DLSS override models preset, and you can select the latest, which will then use DLSS 4 preset K if it is supported. And, or you can select the DLSS preset or version for each different setting here, right? So we've got frame generation, array reconstruction, and super resolution. Now, via the app here, if you manage to select a preset, you can only go to preset J. Now, preset K was also released for DLSS 4, but if you select the latest, it would actually be the preset K, right? So this uh, Cyberpunk, you don't need to really do this because it does have it uh, in game. You can select it in game, but what about a game that, um, is not supported in game, right? You can go ahead, if we have a look at Indiana Jones here, we can go ahead and say DLSS override. And if we select the different settings for each DLSS technology, we only have the option to change the uh, super resolution or the upscanning part, right? So you can select preset J or you can just select uh, latest over here. But now what about a game that actually does not support any of that. So if we if we have a look at Stalker 2, for example, it's supposedly supposed to support it, but no matter what I do, I can't configure in-game graphics settings here, okay? It, this is not a cracked version or a torrented version. This is the Xbox Game Pass version. Now you'd think, okay, maybe the Xbox Game Pass version games have issues, but if we have a look at Indiana Jones, sure, it can't load my game settings, but I does give me driver settings. And once again, over here, we can select the different presets, right? Now a game does have to be supported officially by Nvidia for you to be able to use this. As you can see Diablo 2 resurrected here, even though it does have DLSS, we cannot change the DLSS mode in the Nvidia app, right? It says it does not support this feature. Now there's a long list of games that actually, uh, that shows you which games are supported. It is an extensive list and I'm pretty sure it will get updated. But what if you want to update Diablo 2 Resurrected to the latest version? All right, so here we have DLSS swap, but no, don't let the name fool you. It does not apply only to DLSS. So let's have a look at Ratchet and Clank. I do like to use this as an example. If you open it, you can see that you, you can select multiple DLSS versions here. If you do not have one of these installed, if you click swap, it'll actually start downloading it. And then once the arrow disappears, you can click swap, right? And then you've got the DLSS version that you selected. And the same goes for frame generation. You can select the latest one or whichever. And then also FSR, you can download the latest, switch to the latest, swap and XSS as well. Now, once again, I just want to reiterate that you cannot inject DLSS into games that do not have DLSS or FSR, etc. But let me let me just show you. So if we if we reset both these, you can you can just click reset, click cancel, and then you have the the versions that the the game files basically came with, right? So let's just reset everything, All right? But before we go into the game, let me just show you. If we go into settings here, what we can do is we can just enable. Uh, the, the DLSS developer options. So the show on screen indicator, you can do this with uh, NVPI as well, but I just want to use it for this. So you can just select enable for all DLSS DLLs. Okay, don't, <laughs> it's DLSS DLLS. All right, so let's go into the game quickly. All right, so now we're in the game. And if you have a look at the bottom left-hand corner, I'll zoom in, you'll see that it says render preset D and DLSS version 3, 3.5.0, whatever. And then it also tells you which resolution we're upscaling from and which resolution we're upscaling to. Okay, so preset D is one of the older DLSS uh, versions. And uh, I mean, it went up to preset E for the for the previous uh, DLSS versions, the ones before DLSS 4. All right, so let me show you how you can actually force DLSS 4 with the latest presets in basically any game. All right, now for this, you're going to need 
two applications, right? One is called NVIDIA Profile Inspector. I'll link the download location in the description as well as in the comments. And you're going to use DLSS Swapper, right? We've already covered DLSS Swapper. Now, if you have a look at the settings here under the Global Driver Profile, you can select this on a game basis as well or per game basis if you want to, if you do have issues with the uh, uh, with changing the DLSS presets. Remember, not all games are officially supported, so you might run into issues with some games and some games might even get flagged with anti-cheat, but uh, I'm just going to do it on the on the, the global profile, right? So if we go, you can just select uh, FG latest, that's frame generation latest, you can select that to on. Then array reconstruction latest, you can select this to on as well. And then SR latest DLL, that is super resolution. So DLSS, you select that to on obviously. And then the super resolution preset. Now here's where things get interesting. Remember with DLSS 4, we got the introduction of transformer model, okay? So preset A up until E would be CNN model, okay? And then you would get uh, a preset F as well, but I don't think uh, this is being used in many games at the moment. Now preset J and K were released with the LSS4 and this would be the transformer model, okay? So what we're going to use is, uh, actually preset J came out the moment the LSS4 launched, but then a day or two later, they released preset K. So we're going to use preset K. This forces the transformer model, which does make it look a lot better. Now we're going to go ahead and apply changes. Remember, I'm doing this under the global profile. You can do it under the global profile if you're not too worried about games not working or getting flagged. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to DLSS Swapper. We go to Rachel and Clank here and we select the latest DLSS version 3021 click swap and the same for DLSS frame generation 3, 10, 2 and click swap and then we can go back into the game. All right and we're back in, in the game and you can see in the bottom left hand corner again we've got render preset set to K so we are using the transformer model and we are using the latest version of DLSS which is 3.10.2.1 and um, that's basically it right so now you've got DLSS uh, tra for transformer model in Ratchet and Clank. Now as I said you can do this with the Ratchet and Clank in the NVIDIA control panel. But if you, you do come across a game that is not supported in the NVIDIA control panel, you can just follow this method and you can force the DLSS4 transformer model preset K into any game. All right, uh, just, so just a quick recap again. You're going to download DLSS Swapper. I'll, in, I'll link the download location as well. Then you're going to install NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Select the latest presets for FG, RR, and SR, and then select the latest preset or preset K under SR preset. Then you go into DLSS Swapper. You select whichever the game you want to swap the DLSS files for. So which one does not have the latest? I've already done most of them. So Let's try Path of Exile. You just uh, select the latest version, click swap, and the game does not have frame generation. Now, unfortunately, you can't make changes in real time. You have to restart the game for any changes yet to take effect. So it's best to just make all the changes before you actually go into the game. All right, and that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, we hope to see you in the next one.